our Melbourne headquarters. This is 7 News with Peter Mitchell. Good evening. An arsenal of weapons, including dozens of handguns, has been stolen in a well-planned robbery in Melbourne's north. The Antarctic air has frozen southeastern Australia, bringing snow to Melbourne suburbs and blanketing Tasmania. Australian Television Network chairman Christopher Scase launched the Seven Network's football coverage in front of more than 350 people and also announced the commentators for the 88 season. Good evening. A meeting is still underway tonight to decide whether we'll have trains or not tomorrow. The Met says if the Electrical Trades Union does not lift bans, all trains could be out tomorrow. We'll have further details on News World tonight at 10.30. It should be a sunny 25 degrees, News World at 10.45. Tennis legend Rod Laver is out of hospital and back home in California tonight where he'll continue recuperating from the stroke that he suffered last month. It's a sombre Sunday in London after the emotional and exhausting funeral of the Princess of Wales. Diana was buried on an island in a lake in the grounds of her family's ancestral home at Althorpe in central England. Good evening and welcome to Olympic Park. We're into the final hour before the opening ceremony of the 27th Olympiad. This is the scene inside the stadium where more than 100,000 spectators are taking up their seats. Tonight promises to be an historic moment for Sydney. Chris Reason, the relay has reached the Opera House. And it has indeed. The, uh, the torch is inside the Opera House as we speak, safely in the hands of Sam Riley. And in just a couple of minutes' time, she should emerge up the top of the very highest sail of the house, Australia's favourite building. Sydney's New Year's Eve, the world's first major celebration and surely the best. Now on the changing face of Sydney, tonight getting around. At times it seems we live in permanent congestion with no way out. But driverless cars are no longer a pipe dream. Light rail will become commonplace and we'll have new roads everywhere. So there's some excitement about the changing face of travel right across Sydney. It is a very sad night for us here at 7 News as we bid farewell to our good friend and colleague, Bill McDonald. Uh, thanks, Sharon. I've got a few, probably the hardest read I'll do tonight. Uh, I want to say thanks very much to, uh, to Sharon. I've had an absolute blast the last five years and, uh, and ten years back prior to that, back in the night, uh, 1980s with, with Paddy, as I alluded to today. Uh, I'll always give my best and that's all you can ask. But I, I do want to say a few other things. I'm, I want to do things. I'm excited with the, uh, the time ahead. It's right for me now to move on to do some other things. Of course, after working on the Commonwealth Games. I'm sure everybody by now is well and truly aware that we're celebrating a very special milestone here at 7 News and that of course is 30 extraordinary years side by side on the 7 News desk of our great friends and colleagues Rick Arden and Susanna Carr. And come on back in and we'd also fittingly like to welcome one of our true and great friends here at 7 News, Jeff Newman, who for many years was side by side with Rick and Sue. Of course, Jeffrey, welcome back. Great Thank to you. see you. Thank you very much indeed. These are not for you, Rick, they're for you, Susanna. I feel, no, I've got to say that I feel vindicated because many, many years ago, I played a big part in getting Susanna away from the mob down the road and coming here to join the wonderful world of commercial television. round of birthday activities is planned. Good evening, I'm Ian Ross and welcome to 7 News. So I'm going to sneeze. The containment centre will be open for business. Good evening, this is ground zero for the Victorian bushfire disaster. Good evening, tonight 7 News comes to you from Macquarie Fields in Sydney's southwest. Good evening, it's now 24 hours since a wave of terror began rolling across London. The man is still inside this house that you can see down the street here. Roscoe! Well, 
We've had a lot of fun, haven't we? We have. And the fun doesn't stop because the banter will continue. How good is that? <laughs> Australian troops landed here on a rocky beach under enemy fire. Security is incredibly tight. In a strange way, East Timor is a wonderful place to be right now. Cocktails under the giant magnolia at sunset. Just recapping tonight's main points. Oh, but, well, that's new. Oh, but... Good evening. Thousands of people around Australia have tuned in to the grand final of Dancing with the Stars to find out what newsreaders really wear under the decks. You're watching 7 National News. He's a bloke who shared the screen with legends yes, and became one himself. As always, you always want to have the last say. The first say. The first say. OK, yeah, off you go. One era has <laughs> ended. Thank, thank you, Ted, for slapping me around and also Ron. I wish you all good luck and good health. So I'm Ian Ross, and for the final time, thanks for your company. Good night.